Welcome to another week of Cast Ranger. I would like to start us off with a little bit of a personal share of sorts. After mm. weeks and weeks of conversations and fighting off artists like the fucking plague, I got my custom VR chat avatar done finally. Meet Common Rider Brave X. That's pretty cool. It's brave without the hair. He's got yeah. mad rogue boots. <laughs> yeah, and the buggle driver's why. And That's I put cool. and I changed. I had the sword changed so that both sides are ice. Now you just now you just need to get a, like all the gimmick figures and just mash them and make make your avatar a real thing. Oh, the the best part about this avatar is since it doesn't have a mouth because it's a helmet. I had them change it so that the eyes light up when I talk. That way, people seeing That's... me know that I'm talking. That's really fucking cool. I wrestled with the name for so long. I was gonna call it like Comrade Braver or super brave or x brave but i decided to be consistent with laser x and just call it brave x brave x <laughs> so yeah that's been a fun part of my last week in addition to platinuming unicorn overlord conquering the leaderboards and waiting for my fucking hand to heal but you know what i don't need my hand for chewing the roll call Woo! yay Hey. I was also here. I forgot to say anything. <laughs> I think I got connect loading. Broadcast. Perfect. Show running super savant. Level up. Blue caster super Ichi. Loud and online. Gray caster Robo Lane. A spark of courage, the power of dreams. Orange caster, global soft perka. Casting, criticism, comedy, chaos. Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. On air. Welcome everyone to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger episode 478. It's episode Frostless. Hey. My favorite ghost type Pokemon. I love Frost. And she is very strange because of the uh, the, the the arms. It's a Yuki on the. Don't follow it. Yeah. Ichi, hmm? I I don't, I'm not sure, but I, did I hear the the Geardlinger in the roll call? <laughs> no, no, no. The new roll call hasn't happened yet. Oh, I thought you were gonna put it up with this one. No, no, no. You <laughs> went ahead and spoiled it. the surprise. Yeah. But well, because I thought you were putting I, it with this week's episode. No, no, I know. It's my fault for not saying, but I'll just go ahead and let everyone know. You're going to want to tune in to next week's episode because uh, it is about ooh. time for me to unleash the Cast Ranger 10th anniversary overhaul of all of our assets. The website, the logo, the emblem, the roll call. Those are all getting updated, and anyone who is a paid member of our Patreon has already seen what's in store. Cool. So if you want to head, if you want to sneak peek at that before the the overhaul takes place, you can check out our Patreon. But for those who are not able to do that, no worries, because I'm going to try and make sure that this happens next episode. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like that you were I, like you you showed us that and I was like oh that's really cool I'm looking forward to hearing it in next, this week's episode <laughs> yeah 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 all right for those who might be tuning in for the first time thank you for checking us out we are a bunch of uh, dinguses yeah we get together I'm every week <laughs> to talk about Kamen Rider we're Super Sentai <laughs> and the third thing Ding he's, like, he's, re he's referencing your Game Grumps episode this week. Dingus. Aaron and Dan played more chess, and Aaron was uh, promptly referred to as a dingus and for now, his and, vast ineptitude. And, and now I want a ten-minute power hour episode of just them playing chess and and like on camera. That'd be fucking hilarious. Just close up of Aaron sweating bullets. Oh, it'd be so funny. <laughs> my my favorite part of that whole video was just the the introduction of the the newest pet meme in the pantheon of Grumps references. Peter, what's this? <laughs> 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 if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch the most recent Chess Ultra episode on Game Grumps. Just go, just go watch every episode of Game Grumps where they played chess. They're that all too. fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Anyways, our topics for this week are Kamen Rider Gotchart Episode 27, Boon Boomger Episode 3, and Woo! our feature topics are Episodes 3 and 4 of Dogengers. Dogengers, hey. Gar, Dogengers. Dogengers. Uh, we know. Is that the wrong way or the right way? I that's, forget. That's the right way. Yeah. Okay. He, he was saying it was Dogengers. <laughs> no. Incorrect. We have been actually over the last few weeks uh, watching the Dogengers uh, three episodes at a time in the Cast Ranger Discord. Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's, and we, it's, it's been a blast. We just started <laughs> the second blight. season this week. <laughs> it's so I, good, you guys. Yeah. And I missed the finale, so I'm going to watch that later. Yeah. yeah. You, you, YouTube's is coming out with the plushie of Balloon Boy, and all I could think when I saw the tweet was how you keep saying that I sound like him. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Actually, Emily, can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> oh my god, you do sound like Balloon Boy. That wasn't okay. meant to be it's him either. Girl. Like, I just. Hi. Okay, take that no, audio and. You mean JJ, Jaloon Girl? I love uh, Take that audio okay. and make. <laughs> That make it no, because that, there yeah, is an official Boy. female counterpart of Balloon Boy, but her name is JJ. Oh, I have no, mm. I don't even know what this is. Balloon Boy, Balloon Boy is like a FNAF character. Uh, uh, who's just like a statue who stands there with a sign that says balloons and occasionally says hello. Hello. And Hi. laughs. And he's just, he's just annoying. He doesn't even like scare you or kill you or anything. Oh, he's, was, just, he's just there to annoy you. I was about to say, <laughs> is he one of the ones that kills you and... No, my, my, I've always, my I've favorite. always liked Balloon Boy. Yeah, I love, I love Balloon Boy, and then my favorite animatronic is Mr. Hippo, because <laughs> he kills you and then tells you a story. He Bye. tells you really long stories that contain clues to stuff. I stopped yeah, paying attention yeah. to FNAF after the first one. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we got an episode to talk about, or episodes to talk about. Oh, and we, I'm so sorry we haven't called attention to this, but joining us this week is our very good regular cast fan member of the Discord, Decker. It's me again. Uh, this is like, reg- what, my, my third time? Yeah, a regular Gotchard expert. Yeah. Good yeah. week for you to be here, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, before we get into actual episode discussion, we have some news to talk about. News boat. News mode. So, first off, apparently there was a vote placed recently in the Toku community about which riders should get Legend Rider Kami cards. I, I tried to vote, but it was all in Japanese, so I couldn't fucking pick anyone. <laughs> No, it wouldn't translate. And so, like, I went to the drive section and I'm looking at all the names. I'm like, I don't know who any of these are. <laughs> Wait, so. wait, hold on. Aren't you able to like right click and translate like a page? I, wa- I was on my phone. Yes. So. No, oh. no, the, my favorite part of the entire thing. First of all, Geats is spelled with two E's, but my favorite is fourth place is Buffalo John Rage. John Rage! John Rage! <laughs> How the wait, fuck? What, what kind of algorithm did they use to translate this shit where the word plosion turned into plosion John? Plosion became John, yeah. Like, Buffa is Buffalo, I get. Rage, yes. But John? <laughs> Buffalo John Rage? It, it just sounds like a wrestler, like an 80s action hero. I thought it sounds like a restaurant, Buffalo John. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down to Buffalo John's. So yeah, so... Buffalo John Rage is like when you're you're there and like get kicked out like uh, Reese Bobby. <laughs> so let let's go let's go let's go from the bottom. So yeah, so twentieth place we have Genmu Muso Gamer from Outsiders. And surprising no one, of course Genmu is going to be on this fucking list several times. Of course. Yeah, uh, 19th place is Juga, so my boy George. Good good job, my man. <laughs> Proud of you. I brought it for him. Well, and yeah, George 19. is the best. Uh, 18th place is Genmu Zombie Gamer Level X. Again, yup, because there's big Gen- Genmu stands out there. And to specify, uh, that's the original Zombie Gamer, the one with the buggle driver. Uh, let's see, 17th place is Double Fang Joker. Yes, valid. Fang Joker is amazing. 
Uh, 16 places, decade complete form 21. <laughs> How so the fuck happy. did that one make this list at all? It is the ugliest thing to come out of the franchise in yeah. so long. It showed it's up wonderful. and then was immediately murdered. It's wonderful. I think that's the point because that's it's the, the th joke. It's, it's the, the meme form of it. where he. Yeah, it's the final form that died. <laughs> Um, 15th place, we got Fi's Axel form. Good shit. Although this translation used the wrong version of Excel. Yeah. Uh, four, 14 places are boy. 14 places are boy. Hallelujah win. So the fucking shit. punk jack. Because yeah. they did uh, the main four, and it's like, where's punk jack? Yeah. Uh, 13th is Zane. Good stuff. Zane. I love that they oh. specified from Kamen Rider Outsiders. As opposed to Zane from Power Rangers in Space. Uh, 12th place, we got Decade Violent Emotion. That's, I love that. I love they Decade translated to Passion State. Yeah, it's called Violent Okay, Violent I was emotion. going to ask, because I, I actually thought Decade Passion State was correct. I was no, just so, totally, like, I was just totally on board with that being the name of a form. Like, so that was, that was from one of his, that was from the, the decade double move crossover movie where like, so violent emotion, all it is, is he gets the little purple gem in the center of his helmet. And then his eyes kind of give off like a flame pattern almost. But no, I, I think it's supposed to be like, tell. I think it's supposed to be like devil horns because he's like the destroyer of worlds. Oh, I don't know. I always thought it was just flames. <laughs> I could be I, wrong. I really want to see the cameo form for this because it's really just decade, but probably of angry face. Angry <laughs> decade. I mean, it was it was one of my favorite forms of decade because I loved that version of Sukasa where he just went, "Why did to destroy all the riders? Fine, I'll destroy all the riders." And okay. Then he did. So I looked it up on the wiki. The actual name of the form is uh, Kamarider Decade Geki Jotai. So violent emotion and passion state could be two different interpretations of that actual name. Okay. Um, eleventh place is Arc One. Oh, cool. Okay. That's just Arc dope. One. This one's nice. Yeah. Um. Then we get oh, into the top ten. Build, build is cro uh, build is okay. cross build. Cross build. Okay. Cross builds. Cross builds. Okay. How fitting, because it's the transition period between the year of the dragon to the year of the bunny. Yep. Uh, ninth place is Kamen Rider Joker, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Joker. Joker is really popular um, from what I've seen. Joker's amazing. <laughs> Joker's awesome suit. I, I know, uh, but like it always, always, it always gets brings up every year. Um, eighth place is O's Tajadol combo Eternity. From the tenth movie. That's okay, that's I a think good it's just form. the O's fans um um coping. I love that it's probably just written. I love that it's just written as Oz. It's probably probably Blaze was the one who kept voting for that. Yeah. Uh, seven, place. seven places Grease Blizzard Awesome, yes, Grease love Blizzard that form great. Which sounds really weird Out of context, but is correct I, I remember I remember When we were talking about Grease Like Emily was really hoping that he would get A form called Grease Lightning I'm so <laughs> mad they I didn't was. They should have done that I mean, uh, uh, first of all I'm happy when anyone gets a form that's lightning Related, but with him the pun is too good right? I know um, sixth place is Chalice. Good for Chalice. Chalice mm -hmm. is great. Uh, fifth place, O's Tajadol combo. Y I, yeah. I love that normal Tajadoru got more votes than Tajadoru Eternity. <laughs> There's yeah, Blaze no, going, no. doing it, doing it again. Yep. Uh, fourth, fourth place is Buffalo John Rage. John Buffalo Rage! <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> I, I and, love I love Buffalo John oh, Rage. And, the top, and, the and then our three. top three, our top three at third place is Dooms Geats. At second place is Cross Geats, and then first place apparently is Geats Oneness. Oneness <laughs> wasn't that cool why? of a form. I mean, I liked Geats Oneness, but I wouldn't say that, I wouldn't want that to be the number one most requested Kevi card. <laughs> I think I think Japan just is hasn't hasn't gotten over their boner for Geats as a whole yet. Yeah, yeah. I've I've heard I, about I, how I'm popular sorry, Geats still, is in Japan. Buffalo, Buffalo John Rage is still is still the thing that I keep thinking oh, about. It's, I just it's hilarious. I just love it. I love Buffalo John Rage. <laughs> He's got 
So on some clarification, uh, these are just for the first round. There's going to be a second round of voting where you can still vote again, your their favorite writers again. Um, but by the end of March, um, the, top, the top 10 will be finalized and then they'll make the cards for the, the, the 10 most votes uh, writers. All right, cool. So yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, anyway. so I hope people stop voting for Geats now. Yeah, please. It, it is not deserved. <laughs> please. All I right. want my boy. I want my. I want my. I want my boy George to actually get the top ten. Yeah. It's like George. Favorite, huh? It's one of my favorite gifts. Just Batman <laughs> without his, his his ears, and he's just yeah. I'm All right. Man. Why is he's it man. Batman without his ears? Because he's just man. <laughs> he's not Batman. He's man. <laughs> <laughs> all righty moving on uh so this didn't come up in my actual news feeds but there was a, a a magazine posting of sorts uh revealing the toy version of uh the the common razor i think it's called yeah and it, oh, gives, uh, it legend gives common razor and yeah. it gives birth to legend's new form legendary legend <laughs> Legendary legend. legend. If this guy couldn't fucking suck his own dick harder. <laughs> Ew, like, no, le why? legendary legend. Why do you have to say it like that? No. <laughs> I love this man so much. And he'll do it. And he'll do it gorgeously. He will do it. Oh gorgeously. no, no, no! <laughs> yeah, see, I think I, I think everyone thought he was going to be called Gorgeous Legend, but I like Legendary Legend. I'm way sorry, more. I just right now I'm just I can't stop thinking about what he said. <laughs> I know, about what Lane said. I... No, I'm so sorry. You're gonna be sitting with that for a while. Yeah, I know, because I know you. Well, I know what you actually mean, like the jerking himself off, as in like yeah, he's like he's, he's himself <laughs> up. Yeah, like his ego for himself is like freaking beyond this world. Yes, unfortunately, um, I pictured that literally. Oh no! I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. And I was just like, ah. Anyways, it is his helmet for his new form as a gun, and it goes on his belt. And I love every single thing about it. And I'm getting it 100. percent So, love it. like can we I, said last I... time, we talked about it. It's the dickhead belt gun. Yeah, it's the dickhead belt gun. The why dickhead... is it? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it dicks? Because he's common rider a dickhead. That goes on his belt. Because because when we got the shock on riser in zero one, the 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 thing I'm holding this very second because it was in the room next uh, next to me in this room, uh, that was original dick belt gun, and now we have dickhead belt this gun. Is the dickhead belt gun. D -d 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 dickhead. Yeah. We were saying before we I started. Think? Imagine how fucking funny it would be if we could commission Mark Okita to say that shit. Oh, it'd be so good. He isn't that much of a jerk, really. No, no, he's not. But, like, it's just fun to just kind of play it up. So, it's fun to like, put him I, in that corner. I, I will say, I always say this, Legend is my favorite rider in Gotchard, so. Is it just like the, um, is it just like the whole, uh, cure ace hole, uh, <laughs> thing? <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't she know. Wasn't, she wasn't that, she wasn't that bad. Anyway, yeah, so I don't think we have specific... I don't know if they translated... I think, he, I think, I think with, this, with this, he has the ability to summon final form of, of uh, riders, so... I think he can summon and become final form riders, because he has... A, he did a, that a already in his oh. base form. On his belt. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's, Which means, so what the hell does form. this new final form actually achieve that's new? Um, Doing what Decade and the end did, but better? <laughs> Yeah. He was already more, more, doing more, that. More, more gorgeously and more legendary. I assume the difference is he'll be turning into and summoning final forms instead of base forms. Can he show up in the show? Well, I mean, if his stuff's coming, if this thing's coming out like late April, then he's probably showing up next month. Yeah, so. I, 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 it's not translated, but I think this is coming out April 27th, 5720 yen. And then there's a second version that's 11,770 yen, but I don't know what it comes with. Oh, it, it, uh, there's, a, there's a set where you get it with the belt. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, well, I already have. I already have the belt. So. I'll... So if you don't have the legend driver, you can get it now. Or yeah, you can get just the normal one and just attach it to the Deca driver belt because it's the exact same mold. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Exact, it's literally the exact same. Oh, will it work? Yep. Yeah, it will. 
Because yeah, like you look on the back of the 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 buckle for the Legend Driver, it literally has the two thousand like nine sticker on it. The only difference it is it doesn't close properly, but it fits. The only difference yeah. is you activate it by opening the belt instead of closing it like you would with Decade. Yeah, I love Legend. Okay. I love that little touch with Legend. It's so good. Anyways, I, I love Legend. I love everything about him. I, I'm going to get this 100%. Don't worry, Legend is coming. The, the, yeah. The, the, the I hope he man isn't. Is coming. No, don't talk about him coming now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. That's great. No. He's coming. Do not want. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Do not come. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> no! <laughs> just just put legend just put legend over fucking Trump's body. No. Oh god. No, okay, no. moving on. All I can think is the I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on. So uh now that the rest of Dread's known and rumored forms have debuted as of this episode they put in an update uh announcement for the upcoming dx dread driver confirming what we could already pretty well safely assume uh that all four of dread's forms will be usable with the dread driver type zero one two and three yay all the colors of the rainbow <laughs> <laughs> all the um, colors of black they all look red. good on it they all look good honestly yeah. eh I'll talk about my thoughts on them when we talk about the show. But uh, mm -hmm. for anyone interested in the Dread Driver, premium Bandai web exclusive, 11,990 yen uh, releasing in March. To those who missed the first set of pre-orders, another batch of pre-orders runs from February 26th to April 19th. The, item being... the Japanese flag. Oh. Hold on, hold on. It's a... Oh, okay. there's a second release. Okay, yeah, the first release is in March and then the second release in July. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I think it's coming out next week. I think yeah. so. Yeah, you'll just have to dread it till then. I wanna, I wanna get it so I can be the Atropos version. <laughs> <laughs> I was so disappointed with that. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, I wanted little girl version of Dread. I wanted Common Rider Dwed. Dwed. I want my Dread, but small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just All a right. little bit of dread, not a yeah, lot. Just a little dread. Just a little bit. All right, next. Yeah. In SH Figure Arts news, oh. they announced Common Rider Valvarad. And, and it, of course, uh, as as with tradition, when it becomes a figure art, it just makes the suit look a lot better. It kind looks of? so clean. Yeah. Yeah, it's very clean. I love the eyes, man. I just yeah, it looks pretty clean. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like about it is that the uh, the small eyes on the suit you can barely see it on the figure. Yeah. I love this this one image where they have him standing in front of fire like he's fucking Sephiroth. Oh, I love you can put it on you can put his sword on his back. I, I fucking hope so. so. I love that so yeah. much. Mary can do that. That's literally what he did. What he does. Yeah. I love the skirt made of Allen keys. Yes. It is a skirt made of Allen keys. Oh my god. That's great. I never thought of that. I think if I was going to pose Valvarad, I'd pose him like aiming his sword as a gun. I, mm -hmm. I just really like that. Cause, like, we saw him do that in the, the recent episode and I loved it. Yep. All right. So uh, let's see. Comes with the Velva Rusher, interchangeable hands, premium Bandai, web exclusive, 990, 9, yen, October release. Just in time for Spooky Ween. I, wa I wonder, Ooh. since he can transform into Valvarad with the sword, could he like tension into Colorado Valvarad and then transform into Valvarad over that? <laughs> Uh, the actions yeah, that, that, would that would result that... in that are possible, but how well that would work is kind of up in the air. Oh, I guess he would need Mad Wheel and Mad Wheel's Mock Wheel and the belt. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that means that between Mock Mad Wheel had to had to transmit into Mock Wheel again. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. It's stupid. But if you buy Velvet Red, you can make Velvet Comrade of Velvet Red dual wield. <gasps> You know what? I'll buy the I'll buy the figure arts of Valvarad, and I'll buy the figure arts of Comrade Valvarad, and I'll put the dirty pants on Comrade Valvarad. <laughs> <and> bam. <laughs> no. 
Then we had Common Rider Wait. Valvarad. Valvarad. No, you know what I would Wait. do? I would buy the figure arts of OG Valvarad and get it painted so that his pants are clean. <laughs> I mean, your 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 brain works in mysterious ways. It does. It, it I don't even understand it half the time. <laughs> Jerry's like, no. You know what was best for Valvarat? Taking the bottom half and replace it with Valvarat. <laughs> Valvaratter. Valvaratist. All right. Valvaratist. All right. Moving on. Uh, in O's news, they announced. A couple or a few different metal sets. Uh, we have core metal Kazari, Mezur, and Gamel sets. Uh, okay. These are complete selection okay. modification versions that will allow you to complete the set of 10 core metals that each Greed has in the series if you bought previous complete selection modification O's stuff. Fuck you, Uva, I guess? <laughs> you gotta be... A hardcore O's fan to get these. Yeah, yeah, for real. Why? Why would you want to get these? Like, if you want, you're like if you want all green. ten of everyone's medals, <sighs> guess so. The only one missing right now is the Putatira medals. And there were the reason Uva's not here is because the the Ankh and Uva sets were previously announced. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you want to get all the canon medals that exist in the show. For your complete selection modification O's driver, this is how you do it. So, it comes, <laughs> so with Mizul, it comes with two Shachi, one Unagi, and one Taco. Kazari comes with one Lion, two Tora, and one Cheetah. And the Gamel <laughs> set comes with two Sai and one Gorilla and one Zo. If you pre order Mizul set, you get a free Taco. <laughs> <laughs> The, the octopus, not not the food. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's see. The Kazari set, premium Bandai web exclusive, 2750 yen July release. Uh, Mizul Cos set is Cosmos. the same. And Gamel set. Yeah, they're all in July for 2750 yen each. For four complete selection modification core medals, that's a really good price. Hmm. If you already get all of them, if you buy the O's driver. Yeah. I can make I can make my favorite form, Lartarartar. <laughs> I still hate that name and I don't accept it. I love it. La Torata. Lartarartar. <laughs> I love eating food with my Lartarartar sauce. <laughs> Give the fools their Lartarartar sauce. <laughs> All right. And our last news story is some unfortunate news that just recently dropped. Uh, oh. Minori Tarada, uh, who played Ryubei Sonozaki, a.k.a. the Terror Dopont in Kamen Rider Double, uh, passed away on March 14th. I don't think we have specifics yet, but I just I saw someone cancer. post about it today. It's cancer. Yep. Fuckers. Fucking cancer. Yeah. Fucking ain't cancer. Yeah, cancer is the worst. Yeah. That seems like uh, an understatement, but like, what else can you really say? This is a very heartbreaking loss uh, for me, especially because he uh, he he was in Ultraman a lot. If like Gar was here, I know he'd bring that up. So like he was in uh, Tiga, Dina. Uh, he showed up in Jeed. Uh, in fact, in my favorite episode of Jeed, episode twelve, because he plays Riku's like sort of father figure who like gave him his name. And he was really fucking good. Uh, he also showed up in Blazar recently as like the the villain of that show, a sort of villain. Um, but yeah, this this man's just been in Tokusatsu for like so goddamn long, and he's just he was so good. I found a tweet uh, that he, oh, said he, it was uh, it was lung cancer, and he passed away at the age of eighty one. Fuck. But yeah, he was also he oh he was also uh, Zangetsu's dad. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, I'm gonna miss him. He was so good. Rest in peace, sir. You did an amazing job in the world of Tokusatsu, and I'm sure Fuck plenty yeah. else. Yeah. I know. All right. Well, sorry for ending that on a somber note, but that's the news. Woo. All right. Uh, let's get into Gutchard. Gutchanko. Gutchanko. Interest interesting episode this week. <laughs> Oh, 
God, I forgot my mic. I forgot. Sorry about that. I forgot my microphone was there. I was rubbing my eye. And sure was a lot of background noise that played over my bumper. <laughs> Please play the bumper again. Play the bump. Play the bumper again. Take 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 two. Take two. It's funny. Part two of the show, finally remembering it has a plot to resolve, happened this week. Yeah, yeah, and Gurion's plan is fucking stupid. Yep. He wants to find El Dorado and, like, make a utopia no. for no, only no, no, the no, people no. he chooses there. He wants to turn the world into gold and then just appreciate yeah. He just the wants to walk gold. around looking at it. And be like, ooh. He's just gold member. <laughs> oh, I love gold. He did say that. He did say that the that an alchemy's goal is to make is to, just to make gold. He's going to make gold. Yeah, the point of making gold was to use it to become rich, not to turn the entire world gold. Just you stupid just, fuck. Just, again, he's just he's gold build member. A, just build a fucking mansion out of gold and then bring all your fucking alchemist friends and they live the rest of your life there. There you go. I don't think he gives a shit. I loved like I I don't I don't mean to jump ahead, but I love he was just like El Dorado. <laughs> I'm pretty. I think the creature that was behind the door is called El Dorado. I think really? that's what oh, that was. Because I was wondering what that weird I, like uh, claw was. No, I the road to El so El Griondo. <laughs> On the road if the creature is we called pave. El Dorado. Okay, if the creature is called El Dorado, shouldn't it be gold? And all we see is like all it, the creatures. It was gold. It was gold. It was really? pretty gold. It was just in shadow. Has, we saw its golden it eyes and it had golden claws it. when it reached out. Quick, Decker, put up a picture. <laughs> Not a gift, though. He's like, I'm here right now. <laughs> I just. Oh, no, I just really hard when I'm talking. Uh. I, I, so yeah, we start the episode with them going in the Ouroboros world, and then like as Garion starts like putting shit together, you just see this great big like alchemy pot start happening. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was... yeah, it just turns into a big old cauldron that then melts into boil slick. Uh, this so to my, explain the process. Just just before you go into any actual explanation, I just need to tell. I need to get this off of my out of my brain because. Where my brain went with this makes no fucking sense, but it made me laugh, so I need to share this. I have no okay. proof. That, I have no proof that anyone else on the planet has seen the show Bromwell High besides me. But when that pot have... showed up, all I could think of was that quote from episode one. I have titled my presentation Into the Melting Pot, a Carnival of Nations. And then her friend next to her goes, I call it Into the Shit Pot, a Carnival of Shit. <laughs> you know, an asshole friend. I always like the I always like the principal. The principal was my favorite. Character. You were dissatisfied with Iqbal. <laughs> yeah. What is it with these cartoons from like the late nineties, early two thousands about high schools having really good principals in them? I don't know. I wouldn't call Iqbal a good principal, but an entertaining one. I wouldn't call Principal Scudworth a good principal either, but he's also the greatest principal. True. Anyway, yes, El Dorado. That's a thing that apparently exists and we will probably see again. The rope of golden sand. Yo, are we <laughs> gonna get Common Rider El Dorado? Yo, Common Rider <laughs> Dorado. Hey. Um, and we're gonna get another gold rider then. <laughs> <laughs> Scudworth now I'm just imagining like, Common like, Rider Scudworth, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. I really wanna uh, know what that would it. be like. Oh yeah, I was, I was about to uh, uh, explain about how the whole door to darkness worked. Oh yeah, go for uh, it. Kingdom okay, Hearts. So for the, for I was thinking Kingdom Hearts to, too. To open the door to darkness, he needs three things. One, all the number 10 camis, the Dread Driver, and the Gacha Driver. So basically, he needs the camis, uh, the, the level, the number 10 camis, to, to basically act as materials to conjure up the gate. And the pod that appeared, which is basically mixing it all together, that's created by the Dread Driver, which then created the door, which would, which then later on in the episode, the door finally opens once he got the Gotra Driver because it's the key. Oh, so basically, it's a big old ritual summon. 
That's why it creaks open yep. like a door when you like do the head sheen. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wow. But yeah, it turns out that that's the whole reason that they wanted the driver because it was the final key and he'd been like which um, which kind and... of which does track because since the beginning of the show they we referred to the gotcha driver as the key to the door of darkness. Also, yeah, Emily, yeah, but whole... it turns out <laughs> what? He wouldn't be he wouldn't be Colorado Scudsworth, he'd be Colorado Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that as as um. I don't know if that would be him or if that would be Mr. V. Do you think that Mr. V would like fuse with him and they'd become like one rider? Oh, Mr. B comes the belt. That's what I was he gonna say. Mr. Belt. B becomes yeah. the armor. There you go. The butler driver. The butler yeah. driver. There you go. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> okay, now I'm just thinking someone needs, and I haven't even seen the season. Someone needs to do an edit of of Kamen Rider Drive where the belt just talks with Mr. B's lines. <laughs> Hell yeah, I would love that. That's funny. So uh, we do get to actually see Ouroboros, which is you know the thing that represents birth and death at the same time. So that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like but Isaac. Isaac uh, got to tell us that. I kind of love that Garyon kind of dunked on the other riders because he's like, I just need the original driver. The rest of you can fuck off. Yeah, because the other, cause the other two drivers is basically just like uh, copies of the original. And that's what I've been saying. Nobody want a copy. Yeah. <laughs> Ichi, Ichi hates that. Yeah. But yeah, we get to we got to see two new forms for Dread this week. Type two with Dione and Type three with all three of them. I like both of them, honestly. My question is, why didn't Type two that was using just Steamliner and Dione? Why didn't that form get the fucking Dione bonk stick that Type three had? I think he doesn't summon it. Also, the stick is actually a, a retool of a weapon from the Triceratop Dopon. So okay. So yeah, that's, that's so amazing. long ago. Wow. Yeah. And people I make like, jokes about how long it is, calling it a blunt. I like the I like the like the teeth that he uh, had like on the the mouth of the the helmet. I thought that was a really nice touch. Yeah, it was an interesting design. I think it's cool. I think I think both uh, two type two and type three are fucking dope. Uh, I'm kind of mad on their designs. I understand? It, it's just meshing three design ideas together. That I, honestly, I think Dread Type Two works best because it's two dark, demonic-looking designs put together. But then when you mix in Unicorn, it kind of dilutes them. I really want to see Atropos swinging the club around. Type 1 funny. had its own appeal because it was like a light versus darkness thing, but then when you put it all together for Type 3, it's just like, what are we even fucking doing? A amalgamation of all threes. That wasn't... That was a rhetorical question. <laughs> also, I like I like uh, when he's going to Type 3, he just goes, card, card, card! <laughs> just yeah. barely does it. Perfectly illustrating my point that the dread driver's mechanisms are tedious. Why can we not uh, just scan the card by putting it in instead of scanning horizontally and then putting in vertically? Yeah, I don't Cause, know why. Cause okay, I mean, if, I mean, I, I got the answer, but it's more of the toy side. <laughs> It was it was also really nice that uh, apparently Sabimaru and Renge have been like improving on their uh, specifically combat alchemy, so that was really cool. And, but the only I thing mean, we got to because they always get their ass whooped. The only thing we yeah. got to see them use that was quote unquote combat alchemy was the Zukun shield. Yeah, and they would Zukun. I love that. Zukun. Zukun. Uh, but yeah, uh, Majade and Valvarad take down the, the Repli Malgams that get spawned, but then immediately get downed by Dread. Yep. Mm. Dread's powerful, especially when Gurion uses it. And all of the Kemis oh. are, like, trapped in, like, a dark web, almost, being tortured to open the door? Yeah, here's here's yep. one, here's one the thing that I'm still wondering after your explanation. You mentioned that he needed the, the level 10s, so what the hell were the other ones there for? What the others there for? 
Yeah, that's a uh, good yeah. question. It, it wasn't really explained, but from what I could tell, I think like uh, because the number tens are what the, what is part of the ritual, but the chemists, I think, I, I are either uh, just to help speed up the process because they're also beings that were born out of the number tens themselves. Are they just fuel to burn, or yeah, I'm like yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. Brian cool. uh, even said that once the ritual is done, they're all gonna die. Although that yeah. never really happened because the door clearly opened, but none of the chemis actually died. No, because Sotaro. Well, maybe if they did it that... correctly, then he wouldn't have gotten grabbed by the monster. I almost said grabbed by the ghoul. I was about to say grabbed by the ghoul. I, like... I like that. Yes. Yeah. I never played it. I heard it was Me a either. mess, but it kind of looked cool, actually. And I do like the name. Yeah. I think this. I think the door duct is, isn't fully open yet because it, I think if it's fully open, the monster inside of it would have come out entirely. I mean, the door looked pretty open. The monster just chose not yeah, to come out. Yeah, that was a pretty open, pretty open door. Yeah. I just want to pop in that line from Kingdom Hearts: "The door has opened." <laughs> we'll never let you get Kyrie through. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get to the part where the monster somewhat comes out. We get this side. We, we get with this little side scene with Minato and Kyoka, where she basically gives him shit for not doing better. Yeah, tells him to stop being a little bitch. Man I, up. I love that he's like, oh, I, I can never erase the memories of all the faces of the children I let down. And Kyoka responds, Oh no, we can. We're alchemists. Erasing memories is literally what we do. We can absolutely erase memories, which made me realize why didn't you do that? If it's torturing you so much, why didn't you just alter your own fucking memories? I you can't it's... do that. Get someone else to do it then. I think it's, I think it's just a trauma because of the traumatization of what happened ten years ago. That's just preventing him from forgetting about it. Yeah, because because he failed his students in the past, he's a he, he doesn't want to also possibly fail. Yeah, like he needs to learn student. from it. He can't just forget it. No, of course not. Yeah. You have to at least try, and you know what? Maybe make your try to make yourself stronger, so then you can definitely protect them. Yeah, and they already proven that even if you forget about something, just one present of whatever that, like uh, for example, Spanner, because he got his whole memory of his parents dying. The moment he see Gre uh, Grayon, his all his memory came back. Yeah, and then he'd have to watch it at least another five times. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so I just love that Minato shows up to help and that him and Gary just get into a fucking actual sword fight. Yeah, and yeah. if you look at the swords they use, they look really familiar. Yeah, apparently they're like Sword Art Online swords or something. The one Gary used looked like a Sword Art Online sword. Yeah, and then uh, the one that uh, Minato used kind of looks like uh, the freaking Excalibur from Fate. The vibe <laughs> I got from it. About... It looked like the one that Zack used from FF7 before he got the Buster Sword. Sorry, what were you saying? What about what? Cross... What you no, I was just saying, what about Crosshopper? Crosshopper is adorable. We'll, we'll get to that in there. a sec. Crosshop. But yeah, so oh. everyone keeps Gary and busy while Hotaro runs to the lake and just yells up, Do better, you goddamn Pokemon! <laughs> get, in the, get in the bun if you want to be a wiener. Get in the battle zone. <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah. I'm sorry, I can't justify that. We get this weird moment where Hota uh, Hopper One's voice gets channeled through the recently busted Isaac tablet. Like Talking, yeah, like talk. It's like that scene in, in the one Pokemon movie where they have Pikachu speak English for no reason for a <laughs> oh second. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, hey, totally yeah that okay, bad. that makes no sense. At least this one, it's communicating through the. Yeah, no, in in movie. the movie, in the Pokemon movie, I think the implication was that it was like a hallucination. Yeah. So so Ash was on on drugs. No, he was no, losing he, blood, right? Yeah, he was oh, yeah. damaged by psychic attacks. Oh yeah, he was losing mind. Mind Lose, blood. It was, yeah, mind his blood. Special, mind blood special, sounds like a, like a death metal thing. His special defense fell. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, yeah, so finally talks. 
Hopper one talks, and talks? then well, it talks through Isaac, which I liked. <laughs> That's yeah, actually a part where that, like, no, hold on. That, like that's weird. actually a really, really neat idea that I hope we expand on. I would love it if Isaac became like an AI translation algorithm through him. All of the chemis could talk to Hotaro. That would be a really cool thing. But I love yeah. the show tried to make us feel some kind of sad emotion for a fucking tablet because we see like Isaac <laughs> getting knocked out of Sabi Maru's hands and it's like the screen's broken and Sabi Maru just goes Isaac and I'm just like I mean, it's a tablet you can just get it fixed <laughs> yeah but it, it, it does it, it work it, that I, way or is it like is it like Weibo it's a special alchemy tablet. <laughs> well, it's not like I, I don't think it's an AI or anything. It's just something he speaks into because he he has trouble speaking there, out loud. There have been a couple of isolated moments where it seems like Isaac has some sort of AI sentience separate from Sabi Maru. They've been very okay. few moments, like but there have been some. I just see it as another side of Sabi Maru being translated into his freaking tablet. And it looks like one of those, um, I, I, f I forgot what the term is, but like, it, it's those people, like, uh, like there's some people who have like autism who like, they, they have trouble like vocally, like speaking vocally. So they like speak into a tablet. Non-verbal. They, they yeah, they talk into a tablet and then the tablet speaks what they want to say. So, hmm. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, that's what I always just kind of related it to. Anyways, no, don't, don't make me feel sad for a tablet, Gotchard. Come on, you're better so, than that. So Hotaro does his friendship speech, and Hopper <laughs> One breaks out of the darkness, and Digi evolves into Cross Hopper. It's so cute. Uh, actually, it's because he of the so number cute. chance that gave him that allows him to become Cross Hopper. Well, Cross because it's an X, but I think it's also a pun on Grasshopper. I think it's both. Yeah. yeah. Cute. Yeah, yeah. All he's, armor. He's, the, the, he's, the level number Gosh. tens power him Gosh, up, shiny. and yeah. Oh yeah, we, we finally got to see uh, Cross Wizard talk in the show. In show, yeah. I mean, we we know that Cross Wizard becomes a character in the movie, and they're apparently the villain, but we haven't seen it yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. Just the movie comes out <laughs> next month. Hopper one. It's a uh, Cross Hopper now. You can be whatever you want, big guy. <laughs> I, I, it's kind of adorable how people are use are rightly so I think, but people are using this to like say that Hotaro supports trans rights because he, he like recognizes his new name. Okay, that's yeah. kind of adorable actually. Yeah. Speaking of adorable, the actual toy like I'm legitimately tempted by it, even though I don't even have the belt. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's no yeah, reason. It's, it's, it's there's, so cute. there's no reason you can't just buy cross up on ten liner and just keep it as like a little thing riding a train toy. I, I because I mean, he's a, just a little guy. That's that's all he is. Yeah. I love that you can just insert him into the top of the ten liner. It's so he's fucking just a little cute. guy. And then he's flip so down his little cute. visor. No, look at him. He's just a little guy. He's a little guy. I love him. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. <laughs> It's a little grasshopper. So yeah, uh, okay. they steal the belt back. Uh, we, he turns into Iron God Shard temporarily, and then the trains just like scatter the, all the cards to the wind. Uh, it's platin platina God Shard. Yeah, it sounds like it's saying platina. <laughs> platina God Shard. No, no, yeah, God, yeah. God, yeah. But yes, it's we get the God debut God. of platina God Shard, I guess. All right, well, I, sh I shit on the form a little bit, but I will say seeing it in action, it's it's pretty cool. It's the, I, I fucking Iron love Steel. it. Of course you do. <laughs> it's so shiny. Oh, shiny. <laughs> um, I don't like it. That's fair. It's, it's, yeah, I love that. I love it. Pulls. I love it. Pulls a fucking grateful Damashi. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, like it's, half, it's halfway between Forze and G Grateful Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We, and they oh, don't even it's... hide the fact that it's similar to Forze because he starts channeling all of the chemis through the patches on his limbs, just like Forze's modules. Yeah, but he has to. But he still has to insert them like two cards at a time. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
He's at the capacity of the belt. Which means probably because he can use different gotcha cards with, like, Kemi cards with this form, with his final form, he'll probably have all the Kemi's available to him. Randall gotcha will probably be all of the Kemi's fused into one. Oh, the ultimate Kemi's. I just think it's cool that he can mix and match them without, like, any, like, connection. Like, he really used two number 10 cards. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we see him use his final attack, flashing him shoot, uh, and then he just well, we didn't beats the shit up, out of uh, we, Yeah, we didn't mention the um, Zukumpire anti brainwashing shield. We, we did mention okay. that. Yeah. Oh wow! I I'm sorry. I smart as a pancake. That's okay. No, no, it, that was okay. cute. I like that. I'm just going through my notes, like, what did we not mention? They were talking about how they were studying more combat alchemy, and I would have really liked to see them use more, because I've been sad that they've been kind of relegated to minor characters recently, so I want to see them do some fighting. Also, okay, I know, I know next week, I know next week's episode is happening, but I just realized since the ZQ Pyre episode, we haven't seen Kajiki. <laughs> yep. I kind of miss him. And next week, we'll, we'll fix that. I mean, Yay. I mean, to be fair, he's not, I mean, he's, he's just Hotra's friend. He's, he, he's not even part of the crew, so like, I don't but think... He's, he's amazing, though. He should be part of the crew. <laughs> he should be part of the crew, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm erasing the Why poor boy's memory. Not? He's had enough. <laughs> He's had enough. You're gonna give him brain damage. Just watch him be like, Coach, I know you're a writer. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, it, it's it, the evidence are everywhere. So, man. We need common writer Kajiki, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I unfortunately I, that's how I feel too. I I I am not gonna lie, I really want him to be a writer. We need we need common writer Kajiki, common writer Sabimaru, or common writer Isaac, whoever yeah. you want to interpret it. Common writer Renge. Not just their names though. <laughs> no, I want I want that to happen so it pisses off each more. I've, se I've said it before. <laughs> For, I want Sabi to be Common Rider Isaac. The Isaac driver. What if, what if, what if it's a double situation where you where it's both? <gasps> oh, they become they fuse. Ooh. They alchemize each and other. They make they make He makes together. he makes the Isaac he makes the Isaac Kemi card. <laughs> oh. Isaac and Kemi. That would be interesting if Isaac like evolved to the point where they turn him into a Kemi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, I'd like Isaac to see them make that... some new chemis. Oh yeah, and since Isaac and or, or the tablet has all the document of like all the chemis, because that's how he researched them, maybe he can like read like search up like oh use this chemis ability and then uh, use it for the form. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of surprised yeah. Isaac hasn't been doing more like dizzy work. Yes, we did, Kaga. Yeah. Kaga, we did, we did, we did. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so they, they, I love uh, how you were even calling it the talking Pikachu moment. Yeah. yeah. So that's fun, yeah, that's basically it. So Platinum Godchard kicks Dredd's ass. El Dorado picks up Garion and takes him into the Dorado universe it so, dimension. It it's was, not super it was clear. So it was so funny. He just funny. drops his cube. It was, yeah, it was so funny just seeing this giant fucking claw just grab Gary on. He's just like, <laughs> just being fucking thrown in. He, oh, also before yeah, like he collapses, before he collapses from like Platinum Gotchard's like attack, he's like, make tasty. <laughs> 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 just like your Kemi story's over, bitch. <laughs> Thank God we won't have to hear that stupid bullcrap catchphrase again. Hopefully. I know. Every time he said, every time he kept saying Kemi story, I'm like, shut up. <laughs> um, you That's have to hear it every time you hear the theme song. That's the name of the theme song. Yeah, but I miss hearing what? "Make You Wanna Die" in math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh uh, yeah, and uh, I and this, I know this is a very short moment in the finisher, but if you look at the, uh, at Hot uh, Platinum Gotcha's rider kick, you can see like Hopper one like at the back of the leg doing the rider kick as well. Cross Hopper, that's, that's really cool. cute. You know, Cross Hopper. <laughs> yeah, that, how dare you? <laughs> You will call by his proper can't... name. Yeah. I still can't believe that that line was not actually make you want to die because it sounds exactly like it. I know. I still, I just still love it. Goes, but a math. Yeah, it just says math in there. 
the same thing how we hear build a one and then the last lyric was we make a boy yeah, yeah we'll I make, remember we'll we make, make a, a way boy. but it's he's obviously saying we'll make a boy it really sounds like boy yeah we and, uh, make a boy anyway garion's out of the picture at least for now maybe he'll come back but we don't know now we still, um, we still have his cube. Still got his gold cube. Metro Post picks yeah, it up, cube. saying oh, things yeah. are not over yet. So now we have to get we get to see what the remaining sisters will do because Lachesis is now teaming up with Kyoka, as we saw. She's so, like, thanks for helping me out. Like, yeah, she's like, I got you. Um, but now, now that Garion's out of the way, what no one really dwell, realizes is, well, now we can go back to school. <laughs> Aww. Oh yeah, that's a good point. We can go back, back to being normal again. again. They weren't in the restaurant yeah. uh, for very long. It felt like two seconds. Yeah, yeah now they get they to take the back to school. Like, uh, a good two months. Two seconds, two months. I guess you could say their winter vacation's over. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, no, we know, Jerry. We talked about that last week. They could actually buy Garion's cube. <laughs> yeah, people started buying golden, like Rubik's cube, because of like the past few episodes. Yep. So yeah, yeah. Uh, next week's episode, some sort of yokai shows up, and we get to meet Starshine Hoshino, whoever the it's fuck Juggles this is. Juggler. It's Juggler. It's Juggler. 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 Oh, Fucking okay. Juggles Juggler from Ultraman. Yeah, that's his actor. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> the so now, now he showed up. He's been in Ultraman. He showed up in Rider. Now he's got to show up in Sentai. That's the trifecta. Uh, he was in. Speaking Yodana, of Sentai. So kind of. Mm. Oh yeah! Remember? Oh yeah. He, he, yeah. All right. Good for him. I'm excited to see him. I love Juggler. All Ooh, right. That's got right. Take us in. Uh, boom boom change. Cars. <laughs> Why did I... <laughs> that was weird. So, <laughs> episode three started by immediately handing me my my face on a platter by correcting us no. all on what. Ishiro's nickname was based on so we thought it was Chashiro as in chassis but apparently the sha in Chashiro is from the word Yosha mm. as in let's go I love that Mira fucking tricks him <laughs> it's like okay Ishiro it's Chashiro fuck <laughs> yeah I know that, that was a rabbit season duck season moment this this was this was epi this episode was fraught with Mira tricking people, starting by her showing up in a yellow shirt. Sure, what? Yeah, not? she's not the Yellow oh, Ranger. You she picked your color, Missy. She, even though she honestly has more Yellow Ranger energy than Pink Ranger energy, do I sound insane there? Or? No, no, I, 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 I she, has, she pink pink I get what you're can be like that. She feels more like a yellow ranger than a pink ranger, but like, what does that even mean? It's because she's spunky. I wonder if they actually can change their colors. That would be cool. I mean, cars can do that. It depends how the colors are even assigned, because the boon boon changer has nothing to indicate which color you're uh, using. Uh, oh yeah, true. Like, Mira is like Asuna from Mira Soldier with the energy of Haruka from Dawn Brothers. Hmm. Did it just like Thanks, read I hate her? It. You just like scan her body and it was like girl. <laughs> girl. Girl. The female? So the female. it seems it seems the whole plot of this episode is that at Mira's like other job, she sees this little boy upset and it's like, oh what's wrong, little boy? And he's like, Oh, I wanted to give this gift mirror to my grandmother, but it's broken. She won't like it. And Mira's like, no, she'll love it even if it is broken. You know what? I'm a courier. I'll deliver it for you. And then she like brings it to like to the other two and like she's explaining all this and then Ty is just like, all right, but you're gonna go deliver it yourself. But what? <laughs> I hope I wasn't the only one to pick up on this the fact that this episode was about Mira delivering a mirror. Delivering a mirror. Oh, yeah. for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. This 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 show just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> no, Kaguya, that's exactly what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> or it's just you like, hits, are those pink. breasts? <laughs> you must be the pink ranger. <laughs> <laughs> because like why am I the pink ranger? Because I have breasts? Exquisite breasts? 
What about <laughs> TG brother? He's only he's an outlier. Yeah. He had submissive energy. <laughs> she had to be dominant whoa, whoa, whoa. and have <laughs> Listen, the man, the man, the man thought his wife was a doll at some point. So, mm. moving on. Oh uh, no! Don't remind me of the doll. <laughs> his breasts were in his mind. <laughs> my, why did my mind is broken? No, that, that does not make me no, no. That doesn't. That, the moment I, the moment I said that, 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 I legitimately have no idea what that means. He had to, he had to, he had to, he had to manifest the breast. <laughs> I'm sorry, but now I'm sorry. I apologize to all of you, but manifest breast to me. <laughs> Kijino had mind breasts! <laughs> what does that mean? No, like seriously, wait, what does wait, that wait, mean? Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what wait, that means. That, I don't know why I said that. That has to correlate, because if he has boobs on his mind, that means he's horny. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess technically he does have mind breasts for one particular woman. Anyways. I don't know what's happening anymore. No, neither do I. Neither do I. I don't know where my brain was going with that. Like, so hey, what, how what about those logic? tires on the wall that were references to the previous vehicle theme Sentai? I love that. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Dope. I they didn't had, know that's what they, they were. were rims, I'm stupid. <laughs> the rims on the wall said Turbo, Karen, and Go On. Yeah. Where's, where's, where's Kira Major? I was gonna say that's a point in Gar's column for Kira Major is not a vehicle sentai. Not a vehicle sentai. <laughs> it's based on crystals. I love how car and they, because car because they can't say car ranger, so just a red. Yeah. Uh yeah. so the monster of the week is a old grandfather clock style uh kurumaju and i fucking love it because it's basically that one dog from undertale yeah i hate moving things and i can't see things that don't move i remember that i think his name just Why was I doggo i think i think that yeah so I like I like I like the villain's boss just like pissed at them because they haven't gotten the gasoline. He threw fire through the uh, TV. You, ga you gotta say it right. It's gasoline. 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 <laughs> it was also very interesting to see, as we saw with Mira, that apparently the Boon Boon Changer has like a fucking projected map function. <laughs> Which he keeps getting wrong. Yeah. Constantly. Yep. <laughs> Um, she meets Genba, who gives her a bike and then bills Taya for it. Yep. I I love I love Breaky. He's fucking great. He's fun. And then Joe bikes in in the middle of the fucking battle scene and then gets his bike and gun cut in half. Oh yeah, yeah. I love that one, like, this poor man. Like, Pops the helmet on on her, just going like, and wear this for safety. Yep. But yeah, so Mira Man, bites yeah. back and forth through the battle scene as Red and Blue are fighting the clock Maju, and then when she finally turns her head around and sees them battling, just gives him the thumbs up and goes, Alright, awesome! And leaves! I'm doing my delivery now, bye! I knew immediately that it was like, she's just being dumb and went, I'm gonna focus on my delivery! Oh. But they yeah, just what thought... they said was a, it was gonna be a diversion. I was like, wait, no, it isn't. She's just <laughs> doing the delivery. You told me to focus on it the delivery, me. so I'm gonna do it. But they like I, completely I also... misread it and like, oh, she's like baiting the monster away. Oh no, no, it was so good. Like when like she's like, oh, and she's like honest. She's like, oh no, I thought you just wanted me to continue the delivery, and then they just stand there and they're like, huh, huh. Huh? <laughs> like, that was funny. That was funny. Also, okay, so just back to back to the, the breaky uh, or like Gemba like giving her the bite. I feel like he literally does this so he can get paid. Oh yeah. <laughs> he just he just wants money. So probably it wasn't like Taya like called him up and said, "Hey, can you give her a bike?" He probably just happened to go listening and then went, Oh, I can get some money. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, no. give her this bike and then get paid for it. For Gimba the seems like an opportunist, absolutely. You bastard. He's so clever. I kind of love it. 
And yeah, I like that money. I like I like the monster also made like the Hashirians fucking like just don't move and they're like ah! and then they're just like later on we come back to them in the episode and they're just like can, can we move now? <laughs> that was, that was so, so funny. Good. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, we get a very very nice triple hench in this episode. Oh yeah, and, and the roll call again, just amazing. Yep, fully <laughs> enjoy so it. So good. So good. We get another battle race in the highway dimension where they actually, instead of yeeting him into the sky, they just knock him off the highway this time. Oh, just real, real dick move in Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> just thought you're on Rainbow Road and just bam, just knock someone off. Uh, and then this episode was the debut of Boom Boom Classic, a very fancy roadster vehicle, which then turns <laughs> into another water. sword. Why would you show a picture of them when their helmets haven't, like, fully, like, turned properly? That bothers me a lot. Yeah, it bothers me a bit, too. <laughs> I don't like that. You know what I would... Okay, I gotta go find a... You know what I would like to I'll see? Like, not it. now, but it would be funny if someone just did, like, a gif of that, of their of their helmet tires spinning, but just a gif of it just, like, endlessly spinning. <laughs> <laughs> What was cool, though, is when they summoned Boom Boom Classic in order to form the Nitoriu mode, it did the gate mode, even though they were already back on Earth. So this shows us that Boom Boom can use gate mode to actually make a gate between the normal world and the highway dimension, which is a cool thing to do. I thought, I thought you just need to always do that to, like, unlock the form of the car. That, too. It, it's both. Okay. But uh, yeah, so the, the clock monster does his 10-10 slash and Boom Boom Robo counters with the 9-15 slash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. That took me a second. Yeah. I feel like there's some I subtlety. I yeah, I, I'm not fully cognizant of references that are happening there, but maybe someone in the comments can explain. But yeah, so they, they finish off the monster and then Mira delivers the mirror. And Grandma loves it. And then uh, our last scene of the episode is Joe with his half sliced bike coming back to the precinct. <laughs> they just get this hilarious shot of him just like kicking dirt like, oh, shucks. Oh, man. And then he walks into the precinct and meets this lady whose name we don't have yet, but I'm very curious about, who has questions for okay. him. Wait, did she not say her name was her name was Officer Akuse Joe? No, that's his name. Oh, his oh, name wow. is Ak so his Akuse name. Joe. Ak Akuse Joe. Oh, yeah. like oh, okay, because I was like, because I, I, I thought like I wrote in my notes, her name is literally Queen of Accusing. No, 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 no. Akuse is from Ex no, Excel. No. Yeah, I know, and it's from Excel. I'm an idiot. But yeah, that's his name. We don't know what her name is yet. But I'm very interested oh. to find out who this lady is. Clearly some well, sort of police superior. <laughs> Apparently she arrests Mira next episode and yep. interrogates her. And so. tries to disband the Boon Boomgers. So she's oh, Gunpei! The ending thing. Or it's just like, wear a helmet. No, I love her in the handcuffs, just in suit, being like, yeah! Is she trying to do her roll call pose in handcuffs? That, that would be fucking hilarious if that's the case. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, this is, I don't know if this is obscure. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, obscure reference. It's more like, why would I think of this? But all I can think of seeing that little PSA with them with like, when you're riding a bicycle, make sure to wear a helmet, is the Venture Brothers talking about testicular torsion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh. Remember that where they're talking about yeah. this week? Seven's right. She's trying. Mind breath. She's trying to stop the boom boom, but you can't. Don't you, stop the boom boom. Can't stop the boom boom. Don't stop the boom boom. Can't stop. Won't stop the boom boom. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, Orange has his morpher already, so Ooh. I guess all this time he's just like, yeah, whatever. I want it already. I want it. 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 <laughs> Me, me, it's me, me, coming. Me. Not in that way. It's got sirens. I want it. 
I don't know if we're gonna get him henching next episode though, but no, see that he's got I it. Feel like, I, I feel like the episode like maybe like eight to ten range will probably get the the other two. I don't know if we'll wait that long. I mean, uh, we gotta we gotta we gotta, we gotta, we gotta have our three for a little bit, you know. Their, their mechs are coming in April, so they should be around that time. Well, we'll see. Yeah. All right, the show continues to be fucking amazing. <laughs> We're going to switch over to our feature topic, so I guess Emily will be dipping out. Yep, but thank you very much for having me. I'm not going to be on for the next two weeks. Yeah, you're going Enjoy to Jersey. Vacation. Yeah, because I'm going to New Jersey to hang out with Spectre, the coolest person on this universe. In. Aww. um, Wait, no, um, wow, I'm being weird. Uh, You guys are amazing. Thank you. Yeah, Take sorry. care. Thank you for everything, and uh, stay safe, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right. Feature topic. Avengers. 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 Middle. Whoops! Forgot to update the wallpaper. No big deal. Oh, Fixing it live. The there we go. It's fixed. <laughs> All right. All right, so yes, Dogengers, the uh, the show about local indie tokusatsu heroes in Fukuoka. Uh, as I said before, we've been watching this uh, in the Discord server the last couple of weeks, and we just hit the second season. It's it's just this the show, man. Like it it knows what it is, and I just it's so fun. It's funny. I love these trope humping dorks. <laughs> So yeah, this episode is basically focusing on Kita Q men. Um while we're also a, dealing what with a, What a lazy ass fucking dick. <laughs> yep. But apparently dick. it's because his body is stiff, or at least that's the excuse he keeps using. But he yeah, also very and, much doesn't want to fight. And he likes to be on his phone a lot. He's an influencer. <laughs> Like all the fucking time, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. always on his phone. Oh yeah, by the way, all these local heroes, they have an actual Twitter account where they are tweeting. Nice. Yeah, so if you want to follow, follow Kitty Q, man, you can do it now. I wonder if any of the posts that he made in the show, he actually made on his actual Twitter account. Oh wait, oh yeah, wait, wait, there's, there's one image I found where he responded to like, a like an overseas like twitter account and it's, it's something funny you gotta find it all right you look for that but uh so yeah it basically starts with uh kita q man bitch slapping the dog mooks and then as he like shoes them away one comes back with apparently a bribe that he was supposed to be taking <laughs> but uh yeah so Tanaka has basically been given the mission of gathering up all of Fukuoka's local heroes and taking it back from the Akuhimitsukesha, the, the evil secret organization. And I will say I'm fucking stupid because we've gotten all the way to the second season and I just realized last Wednesday that's what the AHK on Shaberi Man's helmet means. Akuhimitsukesha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be scared. There's the tweet. <laughs> yeah. that, that He literally said that. That was in that response to someone saying, account. please, Kita Q-san, don't murder us. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, <laughs> they're fighting the mooks. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. Where's... I love that Tanaka is like, oh, God, these attacks are hurting. So he transforms and he's like, all right, now that I've transformed, these attacks shouldn't hurt me anymore. Oh, God, they still hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, OK, here's the tweet. Here's the reason why he responded to that. Oh. <laughs> Do followers from overseas, I'm looking at you. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is was when the episode was still going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And but uh, so they're fighting uh, Maid Shitsuji, which is Maid Butler, but also a sheep. Yeah. And Akita yeah, Kuman insults him by calling him a goat, which really pisses him off. Yep. Yeah. How um, dare you? 
but then Kita Q Man unleashes his secret technique, the Kita Q SOS, and summons his little brother, Kita Q Man Metal, who I fucking love this design of way better. Yeah, he, he yeah, looks he like looks... he looks like if Drive and Night just like fused. Yeah, <laughs> I love the visor. Yeah, no, it's a sick design. But yeah, so this 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 guy's so fucking lazy he calls his little brother to help fight for him like jesus christ and it takes him a half hour to get there so they spend that time literally running yep they run away from the park and go to this mall and i love that like scattered there are scattered shots throughout this whole scene at this mall where you can actually see people walking around in the background not giving a fuck about whatever's happening here no, because this is this is probably a normal ass fucking regular everyday thing in Japan. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's just a stage show or whatever. Well, yeah, like, like re remember, so like, sure, the Tokusatsu like fandom and stuff, it, it's big, but like, there's such a probably minority in in Japan itself that like all the other regular people who are not into Tokusatsu in Japan, they just look at them, they're like, what the fuck, fucking dorks. <laughs> It's like, it, yeah, it's like, it, like here, it's like, um, it's, it's like, it's like, uh, I guess it would be kind of with like the, the furry culture, you know, it's like a lot of people see like furries and they're just like, don't look the at them. Fuck? Just keep walking. That, yeah, yeah, exactly. That is a comparison. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is, but we're just going to move on from that. Yeah. But yeah, Kita Kuman Metal shows up and gives Rookie the inspiration he needs to actually learn how to fight how to summon his his needle lance weapon and then use his his health log book to start up his hisatsu attack yep yeah that was really cool uh yeah <laughs> my i actually burst out laughing when the two of them start up their hisatsu attack and then at the last second kita q man fucking dodge rolls into the shot to take a photo and then bails out as the attack lands Oh, then there was that also that other time, uh, I think, I think it was this episode where, like, he, he's, like, talking to Tanaka or whatever, and, like, he tries to, like, lean against the wall, but he, like, doesn't catch it. <laughs> he, no, like, tries was... to catch himself. No, no, that was a different episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But, uh, basically the episode ends with, uh, Kita Q man moving into Tanaka's apartment because yeah, it's it, too it, much it, of a pain it, in the ass to commute from it, Kita Kyushu. And you can see where this is going. Oh yeah. He's going oh, to yeah. literally gather the heroes in his apartment. So episode four opens, opens with him going, why and how are you here? To which Kita Q man's response is my true secret power is snooping. <laughs> And you can already see he has like he has like posters up of himself, and then like he take I think he takes a nap at some point on a pillow yep, of yep, himself. Yep, he, <laughs> he naps always on takes his, a nap on, on his own merch right. in in his <laughs> suits. No one, no one except rookie, as far as we've seen, ever unhensions. Yeah, but that's like that's yeah, the I point, literally... right? Like we're we're here to see the heroes, not the people who behind the heroes. <laughs> So, but, uh, but we do cut. I, if you're going to talk about what we saw in this week's episode, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so while Tanaka's wondering how to get a hold of the other heroes, Yamashiron calls Kita Q Man and they arrange a meetup. And I love that Kita Q Man just comes up with the name Rookie for Tanaka's hero identity out of fucking nowhere, even though we've <laughs> seen the name rookie on the printed on the suit before this maybe maybe you know what maybe his name was supposed to be like ogaman rookie or something like that maybe i like to think that's probably what what ogaman meant to call him it was like oh you're you're ogaman rookie maybe i don't know yeah uh, but yeah, so we, we go to Nokonoshima, which is where Tanaka is supposed to meet up with uh, Yuki. And then we get introduced to what I like to refer to as the Yamashiro Sentai. Uh, Red Ron, Aoi Ron, and Dai Dai Ron, who are passing out curry to folks. Yep. I I, I love I love uh, I love the red like I love his voice. His voice is so fucking cute. It, it's fun. Yeah. 
It's like, oh my god, oh my god, I, I'm so sorry. Here, here's your curry. Uh, please have have a good day. Okay, bye. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's basically it. It's, it's yeah. super adorable. That's what he would sound like in English. Uh, but yeah, so these are the three Sentai-ish heroes who fuse into Yamashiron, who I'll just go ahead and tell like you, over the, co- over the course of the show, they stay as the fused form for most of the time. Yeah, and then there's just like a point where like, like, because I think it's like Red's the main body, like of the yeah. fusion. So he just like has like a moment where he's just like, this my my friends <laughs> <laughs> he's just so depressed that like he can't talk to them and then he realizes oh i can talk to them <laughs> yeah but yeah my comment shows up <laughs> with a helpful of the curry and he's like can i get more and they're like no so he clones himself into three versions <laughs> now i can have more curry ha 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 and then they just start fighting <laughs> <laughs> Yavai Kamen proceeds to undermine the teamwork of them by insulting each other and calling out everyone's weaknesses to each other. So oh. they, they attempt to fuse and it's rejected because Dai Dairon fu- feels like he is the, the dead weight of the team because he's the, the, the thick one. Aww. And he Poor loves guy. food too Aww. much. Aww. <laughs> yeah. No uh, problem with liking food too much. You see Tanaka sneak up and he's about to like jump in and help. So he's about to like do like an actual like henshin, but then he cuts himself off going, wait, that's too embarrassing. So he ju- his actual henshin phrase is Ruki Yarimasu, but then he later changes it to Gun Yeah, it's like, it's like, do the copyright standard, uh, copyright, we can't, we can't say that word. <laughs> Even though it's Even literally though just the Japanese word. Yeah, no, it's just a Japanese word for transform. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just because it's so it's it's just it's become such a staple in Common Rider that it's just like you only ever want to hear it in Common Rider, and if you hear it in anywhere else, you're kind of just like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So But uh Red Ron gives this really nice friendship speech about the rest of his team, and then they successfully fuse into Yamashiron. I like Yamashiron. I kind of cool. I kind of love the way that they've incorporated elements of the gas stoves that their company sells into their suit designs. Like yeah. what, what would look what would normally be wheels on the side of their helmet, it's just like the fucking gas stove igniters. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and it's even the same colors as like a fire, I think. Yeah, it represents like, different color of flame red, orange, and blue. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so they while they're fighting, they accidentally consume some of the golden seal power and then upgrade into high heat mode, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the gold, gold seal is an important thing, so like, yeah. keep that in your head for later. Yeah, remember that for later. And it's also their curse because they couldn't unfuse. Yeah. Yeah. Be- then, 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 then they can't unfuse together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, the episode ends with uh, Yabai Kamen realizing that Rookie is not Ogaman. Yeah. Gee, you must be it's colorblind. Like blue or whatever. You <laughs> must be colorblind. No, no, they realize like, oh, you're you're a different color today. But they just this, all the villains just assume that it's still Ogreman, just with a different form. And then after Yabai Kamen beats the shit out of Rookie, he realizes, wait, this is not Ogreman. Yeah, he's like, the real Ogreman. Yep, you're a fraud. Yeah, that's that episode, and then uh, the next episode is the El Brave one. Oh my fucking god, I oh. love the El Brave episode. Hey, you know what El Brave is short? Here's an episode where we show how much how short he is. <laughs> it's funny because like you never you never realize that he's how short he is until they actually brought it up. Yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, he's really short. <laughs> but that episode will have to wait until the next time we talk about Dogenjers. Yeah. Ah oh, damn. Yeah, the game is it's, it's it's pretty fun. It's a, I'm having a good time watching this. Oh no, Dogenjus has been a blast, especially 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 with like where we are in season two. Oh my fucking god! Yeah. <laughs> oh boy.
Well, yeah, yeah. yeah each, each episode it's, is like 19 minutes long, so it's not really that long. Yeah, yeah no, the episodes are pretty, like pretty standard and like you know they, they do what they have to do like you have the plot of the episode you have them like do some stupid hilarious antics you have a cool fight and that's it yeah, i'm pretty sure you like you can binge, binge watch all of the shows that's out right now in like two days oh yeah no we could like if me and ichi just like took like a week a few hours like uh, every day we could probably get through the whole thing yeah i mean we've been watching three episodes in an hour every wednesday in the cast ranger discord so yeah 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 but yeah that's the gengers very very fun having a good time looking forward to more yeah, yeah. no i can't wait and that will be cast ranger for another week Ooh. by the way i just want a quick shout out to uh s- someone who commented on the last week's episode saying this podcast is cringe to that person i say thank you for the views yeah, we know we oh, were cringe. Get the fuck out. Love it. <laughs> All right. You want to be more cringe? I could be more cringe. Oh, you haven't seen cringe. <laughs> oh, All fuck right. your brains out. No. Oh, oh, he did it. Whoa. He did it. <laughs> Anyways, I want to give a shout out to our currently active patrons. That includes our very good friends Blaze, Armor Hide, Sentai VT, Midas, Vegas Bear, and Jack Applier. Thank you very much for supporting what we do. I love you. <laughs> Jikai, Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Our feature topic for next week will be episodes five and six of Symphogear. Oh, we're going back to Symphogear? Cool oh, shit. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 we're going back? We're going back? We gotta go back. Back, wait, wait. back to oh, Symphogear. Man, I want to be on the... Okay, I don't, I'm not That's trying fine. to, I'm, I'm not trying to trigger you in any way. I'm just, I'm asking a question. Do we get to see Chris? I, it's been so long since I remember, since I watched the original season, I don't remember. Okay. Yes, because I think after episode three, she's been in every episode. Cat. It's Cat. It's Cat. There's a Gundam in the back here. Yeah. Oh my god, it's, it's, been, it's been two years or three years. <laughs> All right. Well, that will be it for us for this week. Thank you all again for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, and being awesome. Our primary source of hijinks is castranger.podbean.com. From there, you can find our Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, merch store, all of our cool shit. And like we said at the beginning, keep your ears peeled and your eyes tuned to next week when we debut the fresh new assets for Cast Ranger celebrating our 10th anniversary. We will have yeah, a new, and new logo, new emblem, new roll call, new art assets all over the website. That and thank you, thank you, Decker, for joining been us. Going for ten years. Oh, thank, oh yeah. Thank, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for getting me on here. Like I wanted to be on because of Gotchart, but I'm glad that I stayed true. Uh, it's been fun. Yeah, so, thank, uh, thanks. Thanks for coming. I love you, Decker. You're awesome. And we and I love you guys too. Yeah, Aww. you're right. You're you're my you're my you're my edit wizard. <laughs> I love everything you do. All right, bye bye everyone, and we'll see you next week. Stay platinum. Stay gotcha. Stay boom boom.